What is love, and what does it do? Well, in truth, I cannot adequately tell you exactly what love is, for to do so would be revealing the Creator itself, and no one knows that. But I can tell you what love does, and I can tell you that love is the Creator itself. Love is pure divine power, and love is in everything. Love bonds everything in creation together in oneness. What does love do? Well, again, I cannot tell you all that it does. I do not have that knowledge, but what I can tell you is what it does for us on earth. And as far as I understand, it is the same in the heavenly realms, but perhaps more than we experience it here on Earth. Here on Earth, on this level, which we are in our spiritual evolution, we are learning, expanding, and experiencing love expression. Through our interactions with each other, by the use of our thoughts, intentions, feelings, speech, and deeds, all of which is a measure of energy and frequency in which we emit amongst each other and towards one another. But let us simplify this even more. We all have heard of love, and we all have heard of sin. We are encouraged to love, and we are encouraged to resist sin. So, what is the real, practical, and esoteric differences between them that anyone can understand across cultures and nations? To put it simply, love nourishes life and provides well-being, while sin depletes life and prohibits well-being. Love is divine power vibrating with strength. Sin is divine power turned down on low. Why do I say sin is divine power? You may ask. Turn down low. It is because, without any measure of divine power at all, such a thing or being would not exist. For it is divine power that make everything exist. So the more one loves, the greater. The divine power within them vibrates. The less one loves, the lesser divine power within them vibrates. It is divine perfect desire that we vibrate at a higher level in order for us to become the magnificent children we were created and born to bring forth into the light to be. We are living and alive beings, and like all living beings, we need nourishment to grow. We understand this on a physical, material plane, but what is not so widely understood is that we need nourishment in a spiritual way as well. Remember, we are spirits. Our bodies are merely a temporary form. However good it is to nourish your body and to keep it in good health, it is wiser to nourish your spirit and keep it in excellent health, for that is the greater part of you, and you do that with love. To love the divine Creator, be it God, Goddess, Mother, Father, Infinite, Intelligent. It nourishes your spirit, loving yourself, your life, life itself nourishes your spirit, and loving others, be it people, 
animals, nature, and life forms, it also to nourish your spirit. And here is where I give you a heads up to remember. Anything that you love, you are not only loving our Creator, but you are loving all things. Anything that you hate or have an ill feeling towards, you are hating our Creator, and that includes yourself. Because you are included in that all things in creation. Hence the instruction of Jesus Christ when he said to his disciples, Pray for your enemies, lift them up in love. Because anyone that you curse, not only are you cursing that person, you're cursing all of creation, and that includes yourself as well. Which is not very loving or very caring for your own state of being. Love is a divine power we all are created with. And we are endowed with an endless supply. There is no need to dish it out sparingly or measure it out accordingly to conditions. To limit yourself in expressing love to others is also to limit yourself to your own supply. The more you love others, the more love you will receive from others, and in result, the more you will love and honor your own divine, magnificent self. It is truly a system of one for all and all for one.